My name is Heather Clark, and um, I worked here in 1975, 76. I worked here for two years um, with Paul Jones, the two of us, and we were on one shift, and Annette Dargan and Dave Bennett were on the opposite shift. Um, and it all worked very well. We all got on well together. I was a lifeguard. I did my two-mile swim. Um, Paul counted the, the circuits and uh, he said, I said, how many have I got left now? I was really getting, you know, and he said, um, oh, you've got another 12, 20. I said, oh, I'm not doing any more. And he said, no, you've only got three. So that was great. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that was great. So as a lifeguard, you yeah. only, you're only in this bit of it. I mean, we're actually standing in the pool here. Yes, so we are. You would yeah. be... I would be over, yeah. um, over in the, on that side there. Yeah. And... Um, the customers would come through and all the cubicles were around the pool. Summertime, it was absolutely packed. And we had um, what we call ring outs. And what it was, when the pool got full and there were still people wanting to come in, there'd be a queue outside waiting. So then the people in the pool would have so long and then the bell went and they had to get out. So there was about 15 minutes, 20 minutes in between them getting out, getting dressed, and then the next session came in. And summer, it was just all day, ring outs, ring outs, all day. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. I mean, the yeah. demand for it. Was it was, it was. It was really... Um, I mean, some children used to come, like on a Saturday, they'd come to the pool and their parents would drop them off. And we had to send them home. They were purple. They just wanted to stop in the pool all the time. So, yeah. And, and of course, we got to know our regulars. But, um, yeah, it was, it was good. And that was would just good. be a routine summer holiday? Not, not even that a particularly was... hot summer? or No, no, no. no. Just... It was time out of school. And all the children loved swimming. You know, it, it was just, it was a cheap it was a cheap way of exercising. It was good for them. They learned to swim. Um, and then a lot of them went on to life saving. I worked with Paul here for two years and then I moved on to instruction, taught in different pools, Saltley, Northfield, Kings Heath, um, everywhere really. Uh, and then from there, uh, that was for two years and then I moved on to education and then I taught school children at Tiverton Road Baths and I was there for 20 years. When I came back, I was trying to imagine where um, everything was. And it was the ticket office that, you know, that was, as we came into the pool, it was the ticket office that was there. And then you think of like Winnie Shaw and Kathy Frakowiak, who used to work in there. And then you think about the changing rooms, where did we used to change and, uh, and then make our way onto the pool. And there were all different kinds of, like, I remember the canoeing and I worked with Paul, and that would be on an evening, on an evening shift, and I absolutely hated it when they turned themselves upside down, and they'd be tapping the canoe like this, and I, I used to be terrible, and Paul would say, go and make a cup of tea. Your instinct was to go in and get a man, yeah. <laughs> I, I used to say, they're, they're not coming up, they're not coming up. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. But so, one, of the, one, of the people, one of the senior managers in the bath used to, is it over there? He had a said? little office, yes, he had a little office over there, Tom O'Connor. And um, he used to walk around and, you know, just check everything was okay. But he, was, he used to walk up the Persia Road in his break, looking in all the antique shops and the, and the second-hand shops, and always came back with something, a record or whatever. But quite an authority figure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But then I say Malcolm Roddy was over the baths, and he was the person that... If he came to the pool and you weren't doing what you should have been doing, you know, if you were sitting or you were talking or you were, then you were in trouble because you were to patrol the pool one way, one going one way, one going the other way. And you weren't supposed to talk even when you pass one another either. Eyes on the pool all the time. And always two of you. Yeah, always two. So, it's the first chance, it's the first chance you've had to see it in years. Yes, it's now yes. a community facility, not just a, not a swimming pool. What, mm. what are your thoughts? Well, like I said, I was surprised at first because I was thinking it was going to be another, another pool. But it's nice that 
something has been done with it and I'm sure that lots of people will benefit from you know because people are more a lot more health conscious and fitness and now today so uh, you know I think it's going to be really busy here thank you very much okay <laughs>